We're still hearing that some of you are confused about exactly where the new two-lane highway would connect to existing Highway 63. Right now we're driving down Highway 63 toward Kirksville and what I'm going to try to do is show you the various places where the proposed alternate Route 63 will connect to the current Highway 63 and we'll start on the north end. Here on the north end of the project we're on Benton Way. The new proposed highway will join Highway 63 here just south of Benton Way. It'll run right through this field. We're in the city of Kirksville now and a second possible intersection would be here at Route P. That's not a definite at this point. A public hearing would be held in May and then MoDOT and the city of Kirksville would decide whether or not to put an intersection here at Route P based on feedback from residents. Now we're here on Highway 11 by the Nemo Fairgrounds and we're told that the new highway will come right through this field on the west edge of the fairgrounds and continue northward. Now we're headed east on Highway 6 to show you where the new alternate route would connect with this highway. This spot where I'm standing is about a mile east of the current Highway 63, and this is where the new highway will come through. If you look here, you'll see this driveway, which used to lead to a house. That house was moved a few years ago to make room for the expansion project. The most recent plans drawn up by MoDOT engineers calls for the southernmost connection to be here along Eagle south of Kirksville in the vicinity of Clay's RV service. The original plans for the alternate Route 63 called for the southern connection to be just south of Millard. The decision about that still has to be made and will be based on public input if the proposed sales tax extension passes on Tuesday. MoDOT says the new plan would be $3 million cheaper than the original plan.